Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're excited to be here to review the Lumen Leaf mattress, which is from the Sattva company. This is a memory foam mattress that was their first follow-up to their original Sattva inner spring mattress. And uh, as you can see, it shares many visual similarities with the Sattva, but the insides are where the differences start. So we're gonna take you through all the different features as well as what those mean to you in terms of your experience on the bed. So stick around. One of the first things we like to describe about a mattress is its comfort level, or just how much softness does it have. And in the case of the Lumen Leaf, it actually comes in two different comfort levels, and the one we're on right now is called the Relaxed Firm, which is actually the softer of the two, and the other one is called the Firm. And in terms of how we'd characterize the Relaxed Firm, we would call this one a straight-up medium. So really just kind of dead center of the softness spectrum. So now let's dive into the details of what's actually in the Lumen Leaf mattress. And as you may know, this is an all foam mattress and it's billed as a 12 inch mattress, but it actually has about another inch or so of loft on the top that comes from this quilting. Um, so we'll come back to the quilting and the cover at the end, but uh, I'm gonna go start by going through the 12 inches of foam in the mattress. Starting from the top, you have a two inch layer of convoluted gel memory foam, which is a four pound density. And just to kind of go through that, gel memory foam means memory foam with little bits of gel kind of swirled into it. Gel being a conductor, it helps kind of conduct or pull the heat away from your body. Um, then the convoluted, that's a fancy word for egg crate shape. So if you can imagine, uh, the bottom of it has that egg crate shape. Uh, and what that means is that like two inches down in the mattress, there's a little bit of an opportunity for air to escape, hot air to escape. Um, so it just creates more airflow in the mattress. That's the idea. And then below that layer, you have a two and a half inch layer of five pound density plant-based memory foam. So in terms of what that means, plant-based memory foam just means that part of the memory foam is not um, petroleum based. It's coming from a plant, typically the soy plant. Um, and Generally, you're speaking, you're talking about maybe 20 to 30% of the foam is coming from that alternative source. So just a little, a little green touch there. Um, that layer is definitely going to be helping to create a lot of that rich memory feel, you know, working with the top layer. So in, in total, you have four and a half inches of, of memory foam, you know, creating that memory feel. Um, then below that, you have a two inch transition layer of polyurethane foam which is really just there to kind of bridge the gap between these softer layers on the top, which are providing the comfort and the pressure relief, and that firm bottom layer of the mattress, which is a five and a half inch block of polyurethane foam, which is really providing the bulk of the support for the mattress. So that's, those are the foams in the mattress, and then all of that is wrapped in this cover, which um, is made with organic cotton, and also uh, contains this quilting um, that, that just gives the mattress, I guess, a little bit more of a traditional feel. We'll talk more about the, how the cover you know, affects your overall experience uh, on the mattress a little bit later, though. The only other thing I want to mention about the materials is that in the middle third of the bed, uh, right here, so kind of the part that would fall underneath your, your hips, uh, the very top layer of convoluted gel memory foam on the top of that layer has a layer of just straight gel laminated to it, a very thin layer, probably eighth of an inch or something like that, um, but maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch. But it's basically, the, the purpose of it is to, again, add some cooling to the top of the mattress. So we'll talk more about that as well later in the video. So now let's get into the two things that absolutely everybody must get from their mattress, which are back support and pressure relief. And to start off, I'm just gonna lie down here on my back. And the reason is because this is the position I predominantly sleep in. And for context, I'm about six feet tall, not quite 200 pounds. And what I can tell you is that in this position on the relaxed firm lumen leaf, I, my back is well supported. Um, I can reach up into this lumbar area here and feel that it's a, it's a tight fit, which tells me that my lumbar area is being supported. Um, my hips are also allowed to sink into the mattress, uh, but not too much. 
uh, which is allowing that lower curve in the, in the lower part of my spine to be in a neutral position. So overall, this is, I think, uh, certainly a good back support fit for me in this position. And I, and I think it would be a good fit for most back sleepers. Where I would have some concern as a back sleeper is with someone heavier than me, maybe even significantly heavier than me. Um, with four and a half inches of memory foam in the mattress, there's, there's nothing to really stop you from kind of continuing to melt into that at, if you, in, in your heaviest part, which is your hips. So I do worry that if you're significantly heavier than me, those hips will just, you know, there's nowhere for them to bottom out and therefore they might just kind of go too far, creating sort of a, a hammocking effect. Um, but other than that, I think back sleepers are pretty well matched for this relaxed, firm lumen leaf. Um, if I switch over just to my stomach, um, I would say that in this position, uh, the relaxed, firm version of the lumen leaf is, is a little too soft for me. Uh, again, particularly with that four and a half inches of memory foam, there's just not enough to prevent my midsection from sinking into the mattress. Um, and that's just a critical factor when you're on your stomach because you just can't have any overarching in this position or it, it, it can lead to some back pain. So for me as a stomach sleeper, I would definitely be moving towards that firm version of the lumen leaf. Um, switching over to my side, uh, what I can say here is that I think that the relaxed firm lumen leaf is likely to be a very good match back support wise for most side sleepers. I think uh, it does a great job of allowing my shoulders to, to sink into the mattress a little bit, which is important for maintaining that neutral position on your side. And it also does the same with my, my hips. And so it's, I think this is really like doing a, a great job back support wise on my side. And I, and I do think that this would be a pretty good back support fit for most side sleepers. Um, and I'm not too worried about heavier side sleepers in this position because in this position, you know, your curves are gonna, you're gonna want your curves to be sinking in a little bit more. And I think that you would likely um, find a place to bottom out as a side sleeper in, uh, in this position. So uh, now let's turn our attention to pressure relief because this is the position where you really do need to uh, uh, pay attention to pressure relief. And what I can tell you about the pressure relief of this mattress is it's very good. Um, I've experienced no pressure points. Um, I, I pay particular attention to my shoulders and my hips. Um, it's not surprising there being four and a half inches of memory foam in the mattress that there wouldn't be uh, pressure points. I would, I would say the, memory, the pressure relief may not be quite as good as it would be if the memory foam were up on top without this quilting layer, um, but it's still very good pressure relief and I don't expect pressure points are likely to be a problem for you uh, on this mattress. Now let's get into some of the more preference-based characteristics of the mattress. And the first one we're gonna tackle is what we call responsiveness, which by that we mean, to what degree does this mattress have that slowly melting into the bed memory feel versus more of a quick response bounce? And this being what is generally a memory foam mattress, you would expect that it would be uh, heavily towards that memory side of that spectrum. Um, but it's actually not quite as far in that direction as you might think. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that, and we'll show you. Uh, the first is that this quilting layer doesn't actually have any memory foam in it. So you can see here as I press on it, it just, it responds instantly. Um, and there's enough of this quilting that kind of, it kind of mutes or dampens the memory feel to a degree. Um, the second reason is that the memory foam in this mattress is a little bit more quick recovery memory foam. So, you know, memory foam sometimes takes five, even 10 seconds to kind of slowly return to its shape. But you can see with this memory foam, I press down really hard. And as I lift up, I mean, it's, it's a second uh, or so, certainly no more than two before it's, it's uh, fully recovered. Um, so those are the, for those two reasons, we wouldn't characterize this as having um, a huge amount of that memory feel, though it is certainly towards that side of the spectrum. Um, you know, in terms of bounce, you know, you're not gonna get a whole lot of bounce to speak of with this mattress. Um, you know, this top 
quilting layer has a little bit of bounce. Um, not, you know, it's not a, a not a something I would describe as bouncy though. Um, and, you know, in terms of if we take this 16 pound bowling ball and drop that on the mattress, you can see there's barely any bounce at that level. And then of course, if I drop my full 200 pound frame down on the bed, again, no bounce. So um, by and large, this mattress certainly falls over towards the memory side of the spectrum. But again, not quite as much as you might expect for a traditional memory foam mattress. Another preference-based characteristic that we cover in our reviews is cushioning depth, because some people prefer to sleep more in their mattress, and some people prefer to sleep more on top of their mattress. And in the case of the Lumen Leaf, um, well, one thing we're gonna do is just show you with this bowling ball, which you can compare across other mattresses we've reviewed, kind of how much this, this 16 pound bowling ball sinks in. Um, but then we're also going to just show you with my, my 200 pound body, you know, how much this sinks in. And of course, um, based on your own weight and body shape and sleep position, you know, your experience is gonna vary here a little bit. But what I can tell you is that in general, the relaxed firm Lumen Leaf has a slightly deeper than average cushioning depth, but if you've seen our review of the Sapa mattress, the traditional inner spring Sapa mattress, um, which has this same cover, you may recall us explaining that because of the way this cover is quilted, particularly in this middle area, which is quilted rather tightly, um, it feels like less than what it is. So I would say it has more the feel of a medium cushioning depth mattress, but the cushioning depth is actually a bit deeper than average. So in other words, it's, it's kind of gonna be a little bit in between that feeling of kind of floating on top of your mattress and sort of being hugged or cradled by your mattress. Another characteristic that can be important to some people is motion isolation. And by that, you may know that we mean to what degree is the person on say that side of the mattress aware of or disturbed by activity over on this side. And just to note, as you may have already noticed, uh, we specifically pulled the mattress off the foundation to put it on the floor for this test, just to make sure we're only testing the mattress itself here. Um, so what I'm gonna do to start with is just drop this bowling ball right here. And as you can see, the bowling pin just really does not move, which is what you'd expect from a mattress that has shock absorbing memory foam with a foam core. You're not, you shouldn't expect a lot of motion transfer. And so I'll just try to drop my whole 200 pounds on the mattress. And again, the bowling pin doesn't really move. So overall, you're gonna find that this mattress is one that has excellent motion isolation. One concern for some people, particularly on a memory foam mattress like this one, is ease of repositioning. So we just wanted to show you what it's like to move around on the Lumen Leaf mattress. And what I can tell you is that uh, for a mattress that has four and a half inches of memory foam, I, I found it surprisingly easy to reposition on this mattress. Um, and I think this quilting layer has a lot to do with uh, this mattress keeping you or preventing you from feeling like you're stuck in a hole. Um, that being said, it's nowhere near as easy to move around on this mattress as it would be on like an inner spring mattress or even a mattress that has latex uh, in the comfort layers rather than memory foam. So, but the net net here is that unless repositioning is a really big problem for you, we don't expect it's gonna be a problem on this mattress. Another concern for some people can be temperature or more specifically, sleeping hot. And this again can be a particular concern with a memory foam mattress. And in general, our advice to people for whom this has historically been a problem is that memory foam mattresses may not be the right match for you. That being said, they have taken several steps with the Lumen Leaf to mitigate this concern and to um, mitigate any kind of overheating experiences that you might have on the memory foam. Uh, number one, in this middle section of the mattress, they have actually laminated a thin layer of gel onto the top layer of the memory foam. So it's actually literally at full on gel, not gel bits or anything like that. Um, so if you were to be able to touch that layer directly, um, it would actually have a coolness to the touch the same way room temperature water would have a coolness to the touch when you first touch it. Um, 
so, so that certainly helps a bit there. Uh, that being said, there's a little bit of an offset to that with, with regards to that layer because, of course, uh, a flat layer of gel doesn't have any breathability or airflow to it. Um, which brings us, though, to the second positive thing that they've done in the temperature area, which is that they have added airflow to the mattress by using a convoluted foam in that top layer. So about two inches down into the mattress, maybe three when you factor in the quilt, is, uh, is a, a convoluted layer of foam. And that provides a way for air to travel uh, across the mattress and therefore for heat to escape the mattress. Um, and then the third thing they've done is in that same top layer is they've, they've used gel swirls which again, gel is a conductor, so it can help pull that heat away from your body a little bit. And I guess the last point I would make uh, relative to a traditional memory foam mattress is that this mattress doesn't conform to your body quite as closely as, certainly as most memory foam mattresses that have four and a half inches of memory foam would. Uh, and that has to do with this, this quilting layer on the top, which, which by definition, due to its uh, undulations, introduce greater points of contact between your body and the air, which allows heat to more efficiently escape your body. So all, thing, all those things being factored in, this mattress in general um, is not going to sleep as hot as many other memory foam mattresses uh, like it. Another concern for some people is the degree of natural materials in the mattress, or maybe just the lack of harmful chemicals. And one thing to be clear about is that despite the word leaf being in the name and the word organic being printed on the cover, this is not an organic mattress, nor is it a particularly natural mattress in the scheme of things. Um, however, Safa has done some things to give this mattress some green touches, uh, particularly relative to other memory foam mattresses. Uh, one of those things is including organic cotton in the cover of the mattress. Another is the use of a natural thistle uh, to create the fire barrier in order to meet uh, government standards for uh, fire resistance. Um, and the third is the use of a plant-based memory foam uh, in one of their memory foam layers, uh, which basically just replaces uh, petroleum-based oil uh, with, with a, with a plant-based oil, typically a soybean-based oil. Uh, for, for some of the, the oil used in that layer of foam. So if natural materials are a concern for you, then those are some things that you can take some reassurance uh, from with regards to the Lumen Leaf mattress. Another concern for some people is edge support. So this is something we always address in our reviews. And typically this is not a strength of all foam mattresses, particularly ones that have a lot of memory foam. And as you can see here with the Lumen Leaf, uh, there is, a, a fair amount of dip as I sit on the edge of this mattress. Um, I want to be clear that I'm not feeling in any way unstable here though. And I also want to point out that relative to most uh, all foam mattresses, again, particularly the ones that, that contain a lot of memory foam, this is actually less dip than we're accustomed to seeing. And you particularly notice this when I lay down on the edge of the mattress. And I always get my shoulder blade right on the edge to be consistent. And what I can tell you is that I feel relatively stable here. Um, now there is a sense that like sort of as the memory foam, um, the heat of my body sort of activates the memory foam, I start to feel just a little bit of um, sense of lean there, but I can still just sit here for a long time without feeling uncomfortable or uh, particularly unstable. Now that's not something I can say about most memory foam mattresses. So. Overall, we would say that edge support, particularly relative to other memory foam mattresses, is a strength of this mattress. One thing we get asked about more and more these days is adjustable base compatibility. So we wanted to actually just show you the Lumen Leaf mattress on an adjustable base in an upright elevated position. And actually the base that we're using here is one that is uh, from the Satva company called the Lineal. And this is a base that is brand new. Uh, as of the time this video is released, it will have just hit the market and will be available as an upgrade to your Lumen Leaf purchase. And you can actually look for a separate video that we've done to kind of explain this base and show you its features. 
Um, but what you can see here with the Lumen Leaf is that this is a mattress that is very adjustable base friendly. There's a few things we look at. Number one, does the use on an adjustable base damage the mattress in any way, which is not the case here. Uh, this is a mattress that's made to bend as it is now. Uh, number two, um, how closely does it contour to the curves of the base, which in this case I would say is, is great. Um, I think with any new mattress, you're gonna find that uh, when you first put it on an adjustable base, the foot of the mattress might sit up just a little bit, um, but over time, uh, that's the last part to kind of break in, so to speak. Um, and the la last thing we look at is, is there, is there anything that kind of changes its behavior when it's on an adjustable base? Sometimes you find that the edge might bow out a little bit or something like that. We're not experiencing anything like that on this on this uh, mattress. Um, the only thing that you may be seeing in this in this shot is that this relatively thick cover on the Lumen Leaf is, um, is a little bit uh, buckled up here. But what I want to point out is that when you're actually on the mattress, when it, when it goes into its elevated position as I was here, that doesn't happen and it's actually super comfortable. There's no buckling underneath where I'm sitting. So overall, we would say that the Lumen Leaf mattress is very adjustable base friendly. One thing that's gonna be important when you're buying a mattress online is return policy, because you're not gonna be able to try the Lumen Leaf mattress before you buy it. So this is why Sattva offers a very generous return policy, not unlike many other online mattress companies. In their case, they offer you 120 nights uh, to try this mattress in your home. And if you do not like it for whatever reason, you can return it and you will be refunded in, in full for the mattress. The only cost that they will not refund is the cost of the original delivery, which is $99. And just to explain that a little further, the reason why delivery costs $99 in the first place is that this is a mattress that is not shipped in a box. It is actually delivered to your home by a couple of guys who will actually bring it not just to your doorstep, but all the way up into your bedroom. And so, and they will even, for a, a small extra fee, they'll even carry out your existing old mattress. Um, and so that's an added service, obviously, and uh, so it's, it comes with a, a small extra charge that, that is not refunded. Uh, that being said, if you do choose to return your mattress, the process is reversed, where they'll actually come again all the way into your bedroom and get this mattress and take it away. Uh, which again is a distinction from how a lot of the other online mattress companies do it, where in some cases you're on your own, not only to get it back to your front door, but all the way to some place that will accept it as a donation or what have you. So um, definitely in the case of the Sapfa Lumen Leaf mattress, your, the hassle factor is greatly reduced. Um, so we definitely think that all in all, this is a return policy that can give you a lot of additional confidence in giving this mattress a try. One consideration that's important to just about every mattress shopper is value. And when we think about value, we always think about how much does it cost, what's in it, and how long is it going to last? In terms of the cost, the current price of the Lumen Leaf mattress in a queen size is $10.99. And on top of that, you're gonna pay a $99 delivery charge and you also have the option of adding a matching foundation or what some people might call a box spring, although there aren't any springs in it, for an additional $250. And in terms of what you're getting for that, um, you're getting what's billed as a 12 inch mattress, but is actually more like a 13 inch mattress when you consider the additional inch of loft that the company really doesn't give itself credit for. Um, and at the top of this mattress, you're getting four to four and a half inches of what we would consider to be premium comfort and pressure relieving materials, specifically that memory foam that we talked about. And it's good quality memory foam. Uh, that top layer of memory foam is a four pound density and that layer below, which is even a bigger layer, is a five pound density memory foam, uh, which, is a, which is a really high quality density. So this is a material that we would expect to hold up very well and to last a long time for most people. Um, so in terms of how this compares to other products that you might find, let's say in your local mattress store, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a mattress at this price point or even really particularly close to this price point that has this much 
memory foam of this high a quality. So we definitely think this is a very good value relative to what you're likely to find in a local store. And we also think it's a good value relative to other options you might find online uh, because this is a really just a very well-built mattress. I mean, we've poked and tugged at this cover and it, it is really um, just, it's a very solidly constructed mattress and it, it really has a very premium look to it as well. And, and again, it does have a lot of very high quality memory foam in it. So we do think even relative to its online peers that it is also a good value. So just to summarize some of the things we've covered in this video, the Lumen Leaf is a 12 inch memory foam mattress from the Sattva company. We talked about how the relaxed firm version of this mattress has kind of that medium level of softness and it's a great fit for most side sleepers as well as a lot of stomach and back sleepers. We also talked about how if you are a stomach sleeper who's my size or heavier, you're probably going to want to think about the firm version of the Lumen Leaf. And likewise, if you're a back sleeper who's significantly heavier than I am, you might also want to think about that firm version. We talked about how this is not a mattress that has a ton of that slowly melting into the bed memory feel, uh, nor is it one that has really that close contouring or feeling of being hugged by your mattress like a lot of memory foam mattresses do. Um, however, if you're looking for a mattress that has uh, a little of that memory feel, but not so much, uh, one that has kind of a blend between that feeling of sleeping in your bed and that feeling of floating on top of your bed. Uh, one that has very good edge support for a memory foam mattress and also one that has less of that difficulty repositioning that you, than you usually find on a memory foam mattress. Um, and one that is packaged in a very well-built cover that has a very upscale look to it. Uh, and if all the other criteria and considerations that we covered in this video feel like a good, a good match for you, then we definitely think that the Lumen Leaf mattress is one that you should consider. So we hope you found this review helpful in deciding whether the Lumen Leaf mattress is the right one for you. However, if you're still not sure, we'd recommend that you go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz, which you can find right up in the header of any page of our website. This quiz will walk you through all of the same criteria and considerations that we covered in this video, and ultimately will show you mattresses that best match your personal needs and preferences, both online as well as in your local stores. In fact, once you've taken this quiz, you can even navigate to any product page on GoodBed's website, including the one for the Lumen Leaf mattress, and see your personal match score for that product. So we definitely think that that is a helpful resource that you ought to take advantage of. In the meantime, though, we thank you for watching, and we hope you sleep well.